Hey, what's up? I'm Sean Wasabi. I'm a Filipino music producer based in Los Angeles, California. So my real last name is Serrano. So Sean Serrano is what I was born as and what's on my birth certificate. However, um, so the reason why I chose Sean Wasabi as an artist name was about eight years ago when I dyed my hair for the first time green, I originally wanted it blue and um, my friend who wanted to dye hair at the time and she was just testing on me, she messed up and it turned green. And um, that was like a complete mistake. So she was like, yo, your hair looks like wasabi. Just as like a, just as like a joke. But um, that really stuck with me and I was like, wait, that's funny. Thank you for saying that. And also, um, because my last name is a spicy pepper, Serrano. Like here in um, California, we use Serrano peppers to make salsa which is like a spicy, which is like a spicy food, of course. So wasabi is like something else that's also spicy. Like it feels like an alter ego of sorts, but also it, it feels personal enough to the point where like I can like relate to it and I can like identify with it. So I had this tiny toy Casio keyboard as a toddler and I would learn songs by ear, like listening to like Beethoven and Jackson 5 and Mozart and like the Beatles and, um. Like I'd pick out the melodies and like play them on this keyboard. And throughout like my whole life, I like, I'm a piano player. So I was classically trained at piano. I played piano growing up a lot, um, almost every day. And, but I never had an actual piano. I always had, instead of like an actual piano, I had like toy keyboards and um, MIDI keyboards and like plastic. Growing up, I was always accustomed to like, sort of the digital, less analog, feel of performing and like learning music. I started making mashups in Ableton um, and then I started producing pop music like a few years ago. So that's where I got into producing was like, um, I play a lot of video games so when I make music it, it feels like I'm playing a video game and it feels like, like my dopamine serotonin systems in my head are rewired that way. My MIDI Fighter 64, this is like, it's pretty much a street, it's like a Street Fighter controller that's like um, redesigned and like repurposed for the purpose of um, playing samples and making music and performing music electronically. And this is how I um, figured out how I love to approach making music and how I love approaching production. So the MIDI Fighter 64, I didn't necessarily choose it. I like sort of envisioned it and co-created it with the help of an engineer friend. I'm in the middle of mapping this out right now, but basically, so I have my, I have my drums here. Let me turn this up. So, yeah, so all my drums are like right here and then like, let's see. And then I have like my bass guitar. so many sounds in like my music that you have to listen to it like 10 times and it's like this is very hyper melodic and colorful and like the rhythms are like super um super like some it's not it's not always fast but it feels high energy three words to describe my music um definitely colorful squishy and delightful or i hope so Yeah, so most of my collaborators are my dear friends, my very talented dear friends that I love working with and I appreciate and love dearly. Friends who collaborated with me on Mango Tail, Chevy, Hollis, Rachel J, um, Sadika, Tia, Kennedy, um, Space Girl, Demi, Sophia Black who did Animal Crossing with me. We all like get along really well and at least over the past few months in this lockdown making music, the way we've collaborated was strictly through like DMs and like sending each other videos of like, what about this melody and what about this idea and um and recording vocals in our bedroom with like garage band and um like usb microphones mango tail is a complete home run it's like it's the album i wanted to put out this whole time i'm super proud of it even more so in my more recent material 
especially on Mango Tail, I really want, even like the visual aspect is like really much based off of um, the islands in the Philippines that I know and um, grew up seeing, or I like, grew up like when I visited um, my family back home in the Philippines. A lot of it's based around like Cebu and Palawan and like Manila. Um, even, yeah, so much of it is in the visual, but also um, even in the music, like Mango Love is very much Southeast Asian. Um, Hollow Hollow specifically that I did with Chevy, that song is like one of my favorite ideas ever that like I just, um, like I'm glad I found like the right person in Chevy to like collaborate on that idea with and I'm so glad that th that concept came to life and it's so, it's so personal and it's so like culturally um, impactful for me. Now it's um, Mitski and Ali X, Save Your Love, I mean Susie Save Your Love, so they have a song they did together that's on Ali X's last album called Cape God and I love, that song is such a vibe because it's, it's um, the production is very much 80s inspired and has like the gated reverb and like the, just like the way it's recorded is, it's made to sound like it was done a long time ago on like vintage equipment. Um, and it makes me feel like I'm in the vibe when I'm in the shower and like singing along. When you're in the shower and you sing along to songs, it's like, you love hearing the reverb, the reverberation of the bathroom. <laughs> I want to be known for it. Yo, I just want to have really good personal relationships with people and like I think that's what matters even in the whole like process and even in the whole journey of being uh, a music producer and a music artist in this day and age like having people who even like having fans and like having um, even going viral and like all of that sort of thing um, I just want one, I want to be cool with myself on an individual level. Yo, to all my Filipino fans, mahal ko kayo. I love all of you. Thank you so much. Um, stay strong.